I don't take the Linux. Uh, usually, I don't like GUI, so I put a always a CLI minimal version because of the minimal is one GB. Okay, minimal is to download size is one GB, and faster you can able to install it. Uh, you don't require more RAM capacity and that. GUI required more RAM capacity. That's why we need more. Okay. More time it will take, more options are there available, lot of things is there. Okay, so what's our it is? So, first of all, guys, before we go into install, the last video, last class, last part, whatever it is. So, um, we discuss first of all, uh, we downloaded a first one. We download a operating system. Okay, like this, we download a operating system. So full means GUI version. We download it. Okay, and we created a virtual machine. And also we done VMNet settings. Then we created a virtual machine. Okay, and also we discuss the um, certain points, like how much we should give it, like that. And uh, adding a VMX file. Enjoy base installation. So this is how to install a full version. Also, we discussed. So this is an afternoon session. We start installation. Installation. Uh, it is very simple. Start a virtual machine. Before you go into installation, so you must check the few things. One is, did you create a virtual machine or not? That's the first thing. Okay. First thing is, virtual machine is. Created or not. Next one is make sure VMNet settings are done or not. VMNet settings, okay? Are you created virtual machine? Okay. VMNet settings. Okay. VMNet zero settings means bridging kind of settings. If you have any problem, you can ask me. Uh, why, what is that? Uh, VMNet zero settings again. Okay. And uh, OS download. OS must be downloaded next so in creating a virtual machine again that point will repeat here creating a virtual machine time okay processor the processor related the check mark vtx kind of check mark is then a virtualization check mark the processor virtualization check mark must be there uefi check mark or bios check mark which one you want it you can check it okay a uh, time sync off check mark that is possible. Um, put a ISO image or not? ISO image, RAM, okay, network settings, network connections. So make sure that one. Next one is VMX file adding a three lines. Guys, this is not mandatory. But if you without adding a, these three lines, you turn on your virtual machine, it's okay, continue. So don't worry about it. Okay. I'm not saying like uh, don't do it. I'm saying it is if you are miss this step. No all. OK, next. So everything is done. Main important is very important one is. ISO image. RAM. OK, so ISO image network. And your RAM. These are uh, things. So where is your OS? It is inserted like ISO image. These are the things must be checked before you go into install it. So look at here. So already memory 2 GB processor is one. Okay, in a processor check mark is there. And I put a hard disk 120 GB is more, not more than enough. It is 100 GB is more enough. Okay, so it is first check mark is there. 2 GB RAM and voice is inserted and it is a, a VMNet 0 and already done VMNet. I have UFI, no problem, then select this option. Okay. Time sync on. Please Already added a three lines in my VMX file. So last thing is start the virtual machine. So when you start the virtual machine, that yeah, will start. So guys, once you click on start virtual machine, click on the screen. The hand symbol means you are out of the screen. 
okay and use your up arrow down arrow keys use your keyboard up arrow down arrow keys and go to install centos 7 what is this second option is test media what is a test media means you know normally we install a os with a cd dvds install a os with a cd dvd kind of stuff sometimes your dvds may corrupt initially it is boot but uh, maybe some track while you are installing uh, maybe it is uh, not working properly so better to test your cd at a pen drive kind of stuff then only install okay here it is uh, it is isv image I, as i know it is already ready so click on install sent to s7 i'm pressing enter yes so select yes here it is it's a virtual machine and the key and it is my physical machine is linux uh, my physical machine is windows and my virtual machine is linux here okay and uh, i done a mistake so then i am going to power off this one i didn't done any mistake this is the starting only but uh, i want to change some settings uh, for this one so that's why i want to start it again so don't worry okay oh, what is that one is like i given only 2 gb uh, for my virtual machine 2 gb is good okay 2 gb is enough or a 1 gb already i told for for 4 gb people put a 1 gb for C, uh, linux for a five, for a 8 gb people put a 2 gb for linux okay so that is the thing okay. so these things will come up from here the installation one by one step will start but what i done the thing is um, i have a four maximum four to five gb uh, available ram memory will be there okay so go to performance memory i have a 12 gb ram and i have a available four gb available okay if i close few things then automatically uh, it will increase my ram uh, free memory also okay so background things if, if i close few things which is we don't use it so it will increase my uh, availability uh, of the ram see this is unnecessarily it is open it is not required and this also not required today okay these two also not required we are already done in right? so check it it is if it is more than 4 gb above then I can put it. So why I'm putting a 4 GB? Why I cancel? Because a 4 GB um, may give you a faster installation. Okay, make sure how much is available more than available. You have to get it like 4 GB. You want to put it at least 5 GB available. For on the virtual machine, same thing. Click on the screen. Install sent via 7. So 4 GB means faster installation. 2 GB means little slower. 1 GB much slower. Like that. Okay. And that too it is uh, we are uh, trying to install um, GUI mod. Okay. So GUI mod means um, it need more RAM capacity because a lot of packages to be uh, installed from your CD. Okay, the first thing is language. Okay, language to install a process. So English like that. So don't select any other language, guys. Okay, so if you accidentally select also, it will give you confusion. Okay, English, English India, English, English India. Continue. Okay, so first English, English India, continue. Now, important thing is first to go to network and host. A lot of options are there. 
so first go to network and host okay guys can you able to see or not yes sir yes, yes sir it's visible yes network and host so here it is off turn on it so when your physical machine is connected to internet or wi-fi router automatically you will get a some ip address so you look at this ip address so automatically get an ip address means from my dscp server i got a this ip address turn on successfully on so then also i'm going to change my uh, machine's name i put a name is cts13 linux1 dot example dot com example dot com now my current host name is changed cts13 linux1 example.com why example.com so example.com is non existing public dot okay for example you put a abcdxyz.com it will be there someone will created that domain in a uh, somewhere so in the network okay you put a uh, something uh, like a a random letters.com so maybe it is available so no one knows but example.com contaso.com this kind of stuff non existing domain names okay so i selected and our ethernet is ens33 ens33 done so first is network adapter is completed the law okay here it is then go to date and time first network is satisfied then date and time will be satisfied automatically network time is on it is in off condition in and it is on condition okay it automatically turn on and as well as if you look at this time is the time is same as our physical time also asia kolkata this is india okay you know a lot of people don't know where is india okay so desh bucks but don't know where is india also so some people are there okay this is a here in india okay so we have we are in actually two different time zones but still uh, as uh, as our concern it is on india only okay so this is pakistan afghanistan like that so people think this is india very big one <laughs> this is our india okay so what sir it is time is on so how time is on the network time is on means we will get a time setting the time will be sync based on a time zone based on a time zone asia kolkata so this is the ntp servers this is the ntp servers through ntp servers this machine will get time okay so you want a 24 hour format am pm kind of stuff is also there ntp server ntp server will give you time network time protocol what is the port number for a ntp okay keyboard language support india india okay no problem and uh, k dump is already enabled so no problem there is a uh, this one okay source installation source Uh, it is showing a dvd and other options are also available network you want to install with a network or something there is a file with a network like that also you can put it or any network related support okay but i am installing with my dvd so auto detect installation media and it is already detected sr0 means my dvd and my label installation sources guys out of this very important things are three things three one is network network destination software selection network destination software selection but in starting only i done network and host name okay network and host name starting only i done so last one is i went to these two things right so i am going to installation destination then i will go to software selection so installation destination means hard disk partition hard disk partition so you can see 120 gb my hard disk it is showing i will select i will configure partition 
I will configure partitioning. I will configure partitioning. Click done. Then this window will open automatically. See? Available place is 120, total is 120. Look at LVM, change it to standard partition. Okay? LVM to standard partition. Even, even if you want to continue with LVM, even you want to continue with LVM, but you have to do manual changes. Okay? Or you can click on done also, no problem. Okay? You can create automatically or it manually so my point is change lvm to standard partition i don't want lvm here so change it to standard partition okay change it to standard partition or you can change it to lvm if you want it so manually you can also create it automatically also you can able to create it i'm going to standard partition plus okay standard plus point point is first boot as we discussed like a 1 gb or 2 gb you can put it slash boot first one is slash boot i will show you again see it is lvm earlier now it is lvm standard sorry it's standards plus plus mark plus mark select in the list boot 1 GB, 1 GB, add mount point, add mount point. So mount point is added. Next, slash, put slash EFI. So you can look at this uh, data, which is I given, see, like this. Same thing, and also 1 GB. If you want to put a 2 GB, no problem. 2 GB is actually better, much better. In future, like you are want to use this same Linux machine for the next uh, so many verticals, also you can use it. Okay. Uh, you can use it this one. If you know how to install it, you can install multiple times. Okay. Next. Next one is single slash. I want to put a 40 GB. Already I told you, so you can put a 2 GB, 3 GB also, 5 GB also good. So I put a 40 GB. For a slash home, also I'm putting 40 GB and it is purely optional. Slash home is 40 MB automatically. So, so, so I have to change this one. Okay. By accidentally I put a 40 and enter, then it is changed. So I'll put a 40 GB. It is taking entirely. So no, no, no. 40 GB. Yeah, it is taking 40 GB. So look at boot 1 GB, boot slash EFI is 1 GB, slash is 40 GB, slash form is 40 GB. Available space is 38 GB. Still, we have a 38 GB free space. So I'm giving 4 GB because I, I'm going to reduce my RAM to 2 GB. So 2 into 2, 4 GB. So app is so now you can see okay so still i have a 34 gb you know why i need a 34 gb uh, maybe i will do i will practice things and also what i will do i will change these things like the 2 gb update settings you can increase also no problem like this you can increase desired capacity See, if you keep adding the partitions, it becomes 32 GB. 40, 40, like this. So here it is, partitions are done. Guys, if in case you don't like this partition, you don't like this partition, click reset all and you can do it again. You can do it again. So these are the partition. The first is boot, boot slash EFI slash swap home you can put a, another details also if you want it like a slash var or a slash root like that also here it is it use xfs file system so okay 
click done accept changes accept changes click done accept changes now second one is completed network and host is completed installation destination is completed last one is software selection so i'm going to software selection guys one two three last one is software selection this is minimal don't go to minimal so go to hyper v thing so next time when you do this thing installation means you done once installation you work hard on it so you need a two machines actually in a practicals so next time you do that time compulsory read each and everything okay so first time is little tension so because it's the first time okay server with gui guys server with a gui server with a gui and what to do go to last guys look at very carefully because once you done we can't do two times okay so the last one is system administrative tools useful development tools okay so take the development tools you want a security tools like you can take it otherwise leave it compatible libraries take it virtualization tool hypervisor client these three things also i selected it is purely optional printer server so you want to make this server machine as a printer server okay or not performance tools you know Mari uh, mariadb is nothing but a mysql Frameware axis, load balancers, KDA, Java platform. You want to install Java platform, okay? Hardware monitoring tools, NFS, CIFS kind of stuff, mail server kind of stuff, DNS server backup like that. Guys, compulsory. You should uh, select few things here, okay? For our GUI, okay? Server with GUI, left side. right side go to bottom first system administrative tools development tools compatible libraries virtualization tools virtualization hypervisor virtualization client guys i added three lines to my linux machine so that's why i can able to check on it even though if you can able to check it may may not be work if you are not adding the three lines okay so that is the optional one so these three things depends upon what is the installation selection kind of stuff but still no problem you can select it so one administrative tools development tools compatible libraries or virtualization tools virtualization hypervisor virtualization client all remaining options performance tools you want a maria db now only you want a patler things a java thing is now only like that you can able to select it hardware monitoring utilization i selected a uh, optionally mail server just we'll see what will happen okay backup server dns name server like that it is all optional sandy okay so if you select everything okay no problem but it will take lot of time to install okay so server with gui and very important is the last uh, things okay administrative tools development tools compatibility libraries these are a, these three are optional and uh, hardware monitoring tools okay that's it guys i'm going to click done and wait see it is showing like this it means you should wait okay done so here it is again network and host name destination and software selection these three things are important done date and time time zone is selected and the network time is on so done last one is begin installation begin installation so i'm clicking on begin installation 
So it is checking how to install and all. It will complete. Once it is done, the bottom it shows. In the bottom it shows a uh, reboot. Okay, reboot, restart kind of stuff. Once you click on, then it will be rebooted. Guys, it is. It will take little bit time. So mean before that one. So we'll go to root password, user settings, root password. It is a root is a user. Root is a user. Root is an administrator. The root account is used for administrating system. Enter password for a root user. Like your administrator, like your Windows Server, administrator default account. You have a administrator default account. Okay. So like here root. In Windows, we have an administrator. In Linux, we have a root. That is another difference. Guys, always give the password is admin at the rate one two three. And if you give a some random password and you forget your root password, and if you say like a don't know password, that is a big problem. Okay. <clears throat> when you do, just take a, a minute, uh, uh, two minutes, or one minute or two minutes. Look at what you are doing. That's very simple. And recollect it. What it you are doing? Or take a picture. Otherwise, if you are uh, that much of mind people, sir, I will uh, listen once and I forget twice. Uh, that much of person means we can take a picture also. Okay. So like you put a gajni type, you put a tattoo on your face. So what sir it is? Okay. Do it. Okay. This is root password. Again, I will ask you this question. What truth? What is your root password? You must tell what is your root password. Guys, always give a, a similar passwords like a admin at the rate one two three, Vedic at the rate one two three, Soundis at the rate one two three. Okay, like a, a constant kind of names, so then it is very easy uh, to remember kind of stuff. If you try to give a very difficult password, you don't remember. I can't troubleshoot now. And click done. Okay, so two times it will take. So one time done and again done, then all it will take. Next is user creation guys root is already by default user and I given a password for root user. Next one is I want to create a user. Okay, guys, what are the user you are creating? Don't forget the user. If you are forgetting things like you take a book, you give a root user password, write down root and what is the password next? You are creating a user so you can see the heading. So create user. So I'm creating a user. I am always create a user is a student one. OK, so I'm creating a user now. It is a student one or I will put a. Student 13 a. For for your purpose, OK, so I'm creating a, a student. 13 a. OK, a full name user name. Two things are there, so it is like a, you can take. Uh, for example, like this username is a login name. OK, username is just a login name. Full name is can be anything like with the full name. Your name and uh, extension name you can put it. Okay. So I put a 13 a uh, it means first user. And I given a password is again. Um, I will give student. 13 a. Student. Why I'm giving same password username and password both are same here. So why I'm giving a username and password same because of I don't want to forget the password. OK, and that to don't forget root password always admin at that one, two, three. And here it in this one is student password is student only. Why? Because of I don't want to forget. Done. OK, so student A student 13 A is created. Root password is given. Now it is 1544 packages has to be installed. It will take a 10 to 15 minutes guys. What you will do? Take a break for a 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, it will install. OK. So take 15 minutes break. I can't pause the video. Pa pausing option is also not there. Okay.
I'll mute it. Sorry. Okay. So what is now? Uh, it will take uh, or twenty. Okay. It's a thousand packages only, and um, I think system is very good faster. Other take ten minutes. Okay, we'll see. I'm muting for some time. Okay, I'm only mute. There is a no pause option. Only stop option is there.
okay finally reboot so click on this reboot so everything is correct password is set user is created and then click on a reboot so no, no need to do anything just it will boot automatically like that We got a screen. License information, license not accepted. Just accept the license. Click on license information. Accept license. Done. Then finally, finish configuration. Finish configuration. You can see in the bottom. Finish configuration. X window system, X system means GUI screen, GUI screen, GUI screen, graphical user interface screen, X windows, X system. Finally, you got a login screen. See, student username not listed. Guys, always for a first time, login with a root only. Login with a root only. Login with a root user. So, not listed. Root. Username is root. Not listed. Username is root. First type root. Root. Next. It is a last per password. My password is admin at the rate 123. Admin at the rate 123. That's it. Enter. Screen will open. Yes, I got a Linux screen finally. OK, so you can see application like this. 
So you can go to one by one, like what is favorites, what is accessories, text editor, files, clock, calculator, documentation, what is help, what is internet, okay, internet, Firefox, okay, office, sound and audio, uh, sound and videos, sundry, okay, firewalls, arca, print settings, okay. System tools, system monitoring tools, terminal, virtual machine manager, okay, software settings, boxes. Okay, depends upon what you installed uh, at the time of uh, installing OS. Also, certain things are there. For example, system tools, virtual machine manager because of virtualization I installed. Yeah, it is the first uh, genome or a GOM initial setup is there, English. Next, uh, English India with rupees. Automatically check mark is there. No need to do anything. Just next, 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 and finish type only. Yes, skip. I don't want to connect any accounts. Start using CentOS Linux. And this is the help. Like you want to start learning, you can do it. Like a change date, time zones, change wallpapers, launch applications, get online, okay, browse web like this. So we can start understanding by doing one day guys this is a finally uh, your so what to do so first of all on this desktop right click open terminal open the terminal if you see this is the text on your screen is a very small color if you want to increase this text uh, um, size also you can increase it go to edit Preference. You edit preference. Okay, and uh, find out uh, colors. Scrolling command. Compatibility not text only. There is uh, something general. Shortcuts profile unnamed profile. Yeah, here it is. Same thing only. So I'll go again. Edit preference. Custom font. Go to custom font. OK, click this one. Custom font. Monospace regular 12. Change it to monospace bold. You can use regular also no problem, but I'm using bold because of the thicker the um, uh, you know text so you can view better. OK, so I am increasing to see you can see the size which much which which is better. 18 is there, so I selected. Can you see now? See, this is a very beautiful one. OK, see whatever I'm typing. Can you able to see right? So LS. The text is OK, guys. Hold to hear or uh, I'm talking to myself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, right. yes, sir. Okay, so I thought I muted. <laughs> okay, U name space iPhone R. This is my my Linux kernel version. My Linux kernel version. So this is my Linux kernel version. Uh, and also you can do so many things like a ls ls space iPhone l cd commands are there. Okay. Yeah. So clear clear means clear the screen. Okay. IP ADDR. So find out the IP address of my machine. So guys, ENS 33 is your adapter. So you can, it's because of it's a very big uh, letters. So he, uh, the text is not a smaller one. OK, so big letters. No, so I put a full screen mark. Clear. Uh, IP ADDR. So you can see this is my IP address. How I know that is my IP address. First of all, IP ADDR is a command. First one, the first one is low. Low means loop back. L0, L0, it's not L0, LO only. It is LO, loop back. Okay, so loop back. So you can see loop back adapter IP address. Next, the second one is ENS33. While installing itself, we know ENS33. So this is my. IP address I got it 192.168.0.1.1 dot dot 
139 is my IP address. If you scroll on, this is not my IP address. This is a broadcast address. You can see BRD, INET. This is my IP address. Guys, this is a bridge, virtual bridge, virtual bridge. This is internal only, not for external communication. This is internal virtual bridge adapter. So that is this IP address. So what is our IP? This is NS33 and this is my IP address. So what I have to do? I have to note down my IP address 192.168.0.135. So keep this noting it. I'm going to my physical machine in my physical machine command. OK, so I am putting ping 192.168.0.135. I'm able to ping or not, so we'll see. Oh, this nation host not traceable. OK, my physical machine is 137. So I'm getting a text message, but I don't know from where. Yeah, mother sir is texting. I'm not a destination not reachable. So why I'm unable to ping to my Linux VC. So what happened? Yes, that's a mistake. I see it is 139. I tried a 135. OK, so 135. So I put a 135 instead of 139. See, so that is a what I said in a troubleshooting. By mistake, you put a different IP address. It is showing a wrong result, right? So this is 139. Now it is working. OK, 139. So I'm pinging from my physical machine to my Linux machine. So even I written here wrongly. So that's why compulsory should write proper way. Second one is my system. My system IP address is my, my Windows 10 IP address. How to check IP address in Windows 10? IP config. Very good. OK, so this is my IP address. OK, and this is my default gateway means my router address. So I'm going to ping from my Linux to my physical machine as well as my router also and Google.com. So how to ping? from your Linux. So from Linux, this is Linux guys. So look at that as text and all. You can understand that is a Linux. Ping, guys pinging, like in your Windows, you ping from Linux, okay? Just like a Windows only you are pinging in the Linux. What will happen? Look at here. In Windows, it shows four statements and automatically done. But in a Linux, it continuous ping. The ping statement is continuously it pings. Understand? It continuously pings. I stopped it by pressing Control C. By Control C, I stopped the pinging. Okay. So how to control this pinging? Uh, continuously it is pinging, right? I want a only two statements. Two two true statements. You will understand it's pinging or not, right? One or two statements are enough. See only two statements i and c i'm using i and c and also i'm pinging to my default gateway two statements i want to ping google.com so the meaning of like this so you can communicate to your physical network your physical machine and a remote network also why because of i connected to vmnet1 OK, and we can able to communicate. See, so you can see communication. Is there. This is one thing. OK, this is just to know what is the terminal and how to use the terminal. OK, here it is. A uh, lot of things are there, guys. A uh, few more commands. Once you are installed, you have to check it. So one is union space hyphen R and how to check IP address is if config one of the command. This is the command is if config. Okay, 
if config is a command ens33 is my adapter and this is my ip address so when you find an ip address better note aside at least okay another one to know the ip address ap ip space addr because it's a sent via 7 See, this is my ad adapter and this is my IP address. Unis space hyphen R means what is my kernel version. Next command is who. Who are login to your PC? Who are logins? Okay, because of Linux is multi-user, multitasking. So you must know who are login to your PC. Who am I? Who am I? It means currently which user is login. Currently. Which user is login? Okay, so multi-user login is there, so we can see that one. Okay, small introduction to multi-user mod, guys. This is the one terminal. You can see PTS zero is the one terminal. Sir, I am not visible. Not visible. Not visible. Okay, one second. Now, can you able to see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, lagging is there. Sorry, refreshment is little slow. Okay. Okay. This is a one screen. Remember, this is one screen. Okay, one. Alt Control F1. This is the one. Alt Control F2. This is second screen. Alt Control F3, third screen, like that. Up to seven screens are there. Alt Control F1 to come back. Alt Control F1 to come back. So this is at least seven screens are there. Guys, I'm going to Alt Control F2. Here I'm logging with a student 13A. I'm logging to. So it is small letters, guys. So visibility is very less. Um, we'll see that those things later, but just try to uh, concentrate. Okay, it's a very small letters. And I have to put a password. Admin at rate one two three. No, no, no. The password is student thirteen a password is student thirteen a only. I given a password. Password is incorrect. Again, it is asking. Student thirteen a. When you typing a password, okay, it not shows stars or letters. Letters are not showing. At least some stars or dots it shows, right? It won't show anything. It is look like a blank only. Okay, now it is successfully log in. Okay, so if I put a Who am I? It means with with which user and which terminal you log in. It will show. Like I log in with a student 13A. And also I want to see who who means how many users are a, who who are the users are log in to my PC. Okay, it's a single server. Multiple users can able to log into single server. You want to know which users, which users are login. Command is who, which users are login. Root is login. Student 13A is login. So two users are login at currently. Okay. So who am I? It means it will it will tell you which user is currently login user. Which user is currently login user? I not log out from here. Just I'm going to my first screen, first terminal. So this is my GUI screens. Who? See, it is also showing same thing. But who am I? It is showing root. Who am I? In the in a, in a black ter terminal, it is showing student. Why? Because their student is login. Here it is. Root is login. So this is about your Linux PC. Multi-user mode. Multiple screens are there. I have only two users. One is root. Another one is the student. Thirteen. we can add multiple users that when we'll see okay 
Sir, uh, how did you create sir, the student account again? Sir. How did you? Create the student account again. Do you don't have the password, right? How am I created this student uh, 13A? Right? Yes, sir. Yes, uh, while I'm installing, uh, once it is done, uh, begin install button. Uh, uh, while installation process is going in bottom top, I done. First is root password. First one is I set up a root. Root, root is already user is there, but we have to set up a password. That is the first one, root password. The second one is create user. Remember that uh, uh, screen. I created a user when I'm installing one and I given a password also. I'm exit. I'm logging out. From this terminal, so put an exit. OK, this is how you can. Sir, what to. is multiple multiple screen mode, sir? Uh, here it is. Uh, this is a think like this is a physical machine. This is one screen. You will get a GUI screen in the first screen. Screen means it's a first terminal. Screen means it's a terminal. OK, it's a terminal. This is another terminal. You can log in with a different user to this one. Both same physical machine. Physical machine directly are accessing physical machine. So this is one terminal. At least one terminal is a GUI. One terminal is GUI in a GUI mod. In GUI mod. Again, <laughs> there are a lot of things are there. Okay. This is GUI mod, one terminal. In a same only. This is another terminal. Here you can log in directly with a different user. Same thing. It goes for a F3. This is another terminal. This is another terminal. F4, another terminal. F5, F6, F7, F8, F7, up to 7. 1 to 7, 7 terminals. Physically, the terminals are available. That's why it is showing TTY1, TTY2, TTY3, like this. See, I, I log out from the student. So obviously it is showing, not showing here. Like it is showing here, but it is not showing that student thing because I logged out. Okay, so multi terminals. This is yes. Once you're done, installation completed. What to do? Already I given a 4 GB RAM for this one. To reduce it, so you have to shut down the machine. Then uh, we can use it later. Okay. Otherwise, you can use it now. And you can um, um, last uh, once completed, you can able to uh, shut down as fine. To shut down it, I am telling you, you must be in a root. Put a command power off. To shut down, command is power off. Okay, so um, think. Okay. I didn't write any tasks. only and command. Yeah. Sir. Yeah, commands are more powerful. Reboot command is reboot. To shut down, the command is shut down. Uh, power off. And also, you can use a commands like a inet zero. Also, you can use a command inet zero inet six. Okay, this is for turn off or shut down. Command is this one. How to tell this is the command? So maybe this is I net zero. Uh, these are the two commands. Okay. Either this or that one. Okay. For restart or reboot, the command is restart or I net six. I net six is the whole thing, like a seven, I net six, I net zero. Is not, uh, not there is nothing like that. I need six, nine, eight, one, I need two, I need three is not there. In a five, four, uh, I needs are important, but in a seven, I need is not important. So that's why it is also commands, two commands, either this or that. Okay, I'm not shutting down now. Why? Because of again, I have to see start. Currently, it is running with a four GB RAM, so no problem. And next. Guys, I will show you how to connect with the SSH, like a remotely how to connect it. Okay, 
So why I told to install a GUI so you can operate with a GUI also. See, this is the power off option is there. Like you can see like this. If you click it, restart power off. OK, like this it is there and also you can use the uh, Fire Explorer to check it. Uh, what are the files are created here in the desktop like that just for a touch purpose? I told but almost all 80 90 percent you use in a CLI only. OK, so compulsory in the comments. That's it for uh, installation. OK, that's it for uh, installation. So already I told what to do. So reboot, power off, logout, login, everything you can able to. So this is it. So take another uh, 10 minutes. Meanwhile, if you want to try, you can try also. If you already trying, complete also. Guys, compulsory by tomorrow morning, tonight, Night, whatever it is tonight, complete the installations. OK, and after break, small break, I will give you some more commands also. Okay. Just a five minutes. Because I want to stop this one. Huh? 